Hey y'all. Choke <coughs> 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 her. Mama's gross. Hey y'all. It's, I don't know, like around noon on Thursday and I just came home from work early. <coughs> Um, I actually went to the doctor and then came home um, because I got sick. Sugar! Hush. And then when I woke up this morning, my eye was like totally crusted over. This one right here if you want to see. Um, yeah, you can't really tell. I mean, there, it's a little bit red. You can see in the corner. Um, so, I don't know. They're both kind of red. But this one like... Oh, it just it doesn't feel like I can shut it all the way. It feels like when I do shut it, I have like eyelashes or like inside of it scratching my eye. Um, and then my throat hurts really bad and I have a pretty nasty cough. Um, and I felt okay and then I went to work and then I started running fever. So I went to the doctor and now I'm going to come home and rest. So um since I'm doing nothing but hanging out with my awesome sick buddy, sugar is the best sick buddy there is. Um, cause you know you're not gonna get your dog sick, and I'm telling you, she will sit right next to you while you're puking your guts up over the toilet, and she will be there for moral support. Um, so she's awesome. So yeah, I just got home, and um, I'm gonna get changed and relax. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I changed clothes, put my comfy pants on, and I got sugar right here next to me, and I got my setup on my couch in the living room, and I'm just going to lay here the rest of the day. So, got my pillows, got my Angry Birds blankie, got uh, air crash investigations on the TV. If y'all don't watch that, oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. If you're a nervous flyer, don't watch it. <laughs> um, I'm not. I love to fly. Honestly, it, it makes me like more confident that I know what to do um, if there ever was an emergency. So, anyways, I love it. Um, and got my chicken soup and a lot of water and sugar's trying to get my chicken soup nope no no bad girl as a bad girl don't eat my chicken soup no and i've got my computer here it's a picture of my dad my little brother and me in hawaii this last summer and yeah going to um well i have it close by uh, so i can answer work emails AKA watch YouTube videos. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat some soup and probably take a nap and get some rest. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, I just woke up. Uh, it's been, I got a good, like, five hour nap in, which was very nice. Um, I do feel better. The nap helped. Um, Mostly I'm just really like tired, I'm just fatigued, you know, and um, just my body's fighting off this bug. And just kind of achy, you know, like my, my joints ache or whatever, and, and tired, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not really hurting anywhere too bad, my throat hurts a little bit, um, but it's better. Obviously, I took like Tylenol and ibuprofen and stuff, so it's keeping the fever and the pain um, down a bit. So I woke up and I just had the most intense craving for sweets, and we have nothing in the house. So I drank a cup of coffee with some gingerbread creamer, and that did not quench my lust for something sweet so I'm driving to the store and I already know what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this cake that I love that I haven't had in a long time but I used to eat them all the time and it's just like a pre-made cake thing I'll show you when I get back um, but I figured you know they're terrible for you for one um, so I don't eat them anymore because I eat really clean but 
I'm sick. I need something good for my soul, you know. I'm eating really healthy, I'm drinking lots of water, you know, my body's gonna repair myself. I deserve to have something sweet to get me through my day. So anyways, that's where I'm going. Um, I got my flu shot today while I was at the doctor. It hurt like a bitch, and apparently that's what a lot of people are saying this year, is that the flu shot hurts really bad. You know, obviously it changes year to year because of the, they're predicting the strain, the flu that, you know, that will be prominent this year to um, help vaccinate the most people. So I'm guessing they think it's, it's going to be a pretty bad strain of the flu. Probably putting some Ebola virus in there too, which is cool with me. Um, because I live, I live um, in, outside of Fort Worth. I live in the Fort Worth area which is about 30 miles, 33 miles exactly, from Dallas, from Ebola capital of the world. I guess that's a little insensitive. You know, three people got Ebola. There's, you know, thousands that are dying in Africa of it, so I should be more sensitive. Um, I guess, you know, Ebola capital of the United States, though, and that is true. And so I'm not going to lie, when I got sick, when I wasn't feeling well, it did cross my mind. It did a little bit. Um, of course, they didn't think I had it. My throat sore. It's a, you know, it's a sore throat bug. And I know Ebola starts out as flu-like symptoms, but, you know, I was kind of, I had fever, um, had the chills, you know. The camera is even like heavy. I'm so weak right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I had fever, and but I didn't have any like nausea, vomiting, anything like that. So I knew it wasn't the flu. Uh, and Ebola starts out as flu-like symptoms. So, but you know, when you live around here, you it kind of crosses your mind, and it's it's scary. It is. I'm sure it's scary for people all over the U.S. But um, when you live so close, and you can, it's a distinct possibility that you could have came in contact with someone um, like the two nurses you know my family and I went to the state fair which is in Dallas you know thousands and thousands of people out there touching things and sneezing and coughing and going to the bathrooms and you know um, and we went to the state fair like I don't know three weeks ago three weekends ago yeah it's been like three weekends ago I believe um, so it's getting close to that 21 day cutoff. Um, but yeah, you know, I've been to Dallas and, you know, I don't know. So I was a little bit worried, but deep down I knew that wasn't the case. I knew I hadn't been in direct contact with anyone with it. Um, and it just, it breaks my heart. Like, you know, I have a boyfriend and Nina Pham, one of the nurses, um, she had a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. She is still alive. Thank, praise the Lord. Um, and I think she's doing pretty good. Anyway, she, she has a boyfriend and like, put yourself in their shoes. He can't even, he can't kiss her. He can't hold her hand to make her feel better. He can't, you know, pat her head. He can't bring her a cup of water or a cup of chicken soup, you know. He can't hold her, you know what I mean? Like, he can't even give her a hug. Like, how heartbreaking is that? It's terrible. I can't imagine being in their shoes and watching someone you love suffer like that. And all you can do is watch them suffer from behind a plate glass window. You know, you can't do anything for them. You can't help them. You can't even comfort them. Um, so that's just so, so heartbreaking. And then her little dog and that's under quarantine. It's just like, aww poor thing. I have a little dog. I have my little sugar who's my best friend and I can't imagine them taking her away from me, you know, if I ever got sick. So she's my best friend when I'm sick. She is right next to me when I'm sick. So, alrighty, well I am going to run into Kroger and go get me a cake. I'll be back. Bye y'all. I'm back. <coughs> oh jeez. <coughs> Here we go again. <clears throat> oh Lord. Well, that took longer than anticipated. 
I went to go get my cake and then I passed the dog food aisle and so I got sugar dog food. But she needed some, she wasn't totally out, but she does this. It's the items for the small and toy breed. And it's like so heavy for me and normally it's not anything. Um, so this is what you do when you're sick and don't can't do anything, can't go anywhere. You just spend money at the grocery store. Um, I actually found some cute stuff. So, oh, they had a tester out of that new L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur uh, foundation. I've been seeing a lot of it on Instagram and I actually did a little swatchy swatch if y'all want to see on the back of my hand here. And it looks um, not good. I mean, this is where natural daylight might be a little hard to see. Um, it looks like it really settled into the fine lines in my hand. Um, you know, all those little just, li I mean, they're like fingerprints on your hand or whatever. It looks like it settled into all of that, like, really bad. Um, it was, like, super powdery. It reminded me of the Maybelline Dream Wonder or the Maybelline Dream Mousse, um, which both of those break me out. And I think it's because of that formula that, like, I think it's really finely milled or something, and it, like, um, dissolves in your pores. I, I don't know. That's just, I'm not a cosmetologist. That's just my guess on that, um, and that's why I don't like it. So I definitely will not be getting that. Um, looks super pigmented, though, but just I didn't like the way it covered. Uh, so if you guys want to see my cake, this is my shit. And I'm so excited. I'm just going to go home and eat the whole damn thing and not feel guilty at all about it. Uh, I love it. It's just like the Pepperidge Farm freezer cakes. They have like four different ones. This is the coconut one. And it's not really coconutty. It's basically just like white cake with a really good white icing. And then it just has coconut all over the top. It's not coconut flavored. And it's just amazing. And it's like comforting and homing to me. So I love it. But I highly recommend it get on that pepper charm cake they have like a chocolate one they have a lemon one and then i can't remember what the other one is and those things are not cheap either they used to be 3.99 now they're like 4.99 so the freezer aisle is like right next to the cosmetics aisle so i had to stop because i actually got a few things i'm gonna do like a freaking kroger haul right here in the parking lot but I had not seen this yet. I have not seen it um, on YouTube. I've not seen it on Instagram. I've never heard of it. Um, so maybe it's super new, but it's the new um, CoverGirl Lash Blast, and it is the Bombshell Curvaceous Mascara. I got it in, obviously, very black. It, it's, it's a dual-ended mascara. That's pretty much all I know at this point in time. Um, one says Volumize and Curl. Two says Intensify sexy curvy lifted I don't know it's pretty packaging though pink with like some silver swirls on it um so I don't know look you can see the brushes on the back so one's kind of fanned out one's kind of standard I don't know I'll give it a try and let you know what I think so volumize curl and intensify all right we'll see I mean I, I like the packaging I needed like a mascara you know, you always need a good drugstore mascara, like, for no reason, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. You just need one. Shut up. Don't ask me. All right. Let's see. Next, I got, oh, of course, they had baby oil on sale. I got my Johnson & Johnson's baby oil with aloe vera and vitamin E. Um, it's the green capped one. I love baby oil. I use, really, I use baby oil instead of lotion. A lot of times I use both, especially when I'm dry, but um, I always do baby oil in the shower before I get out of the shower. You know, after I'm done showering baby oil myself, then I get out and towel dry off. Um, and it's just, it's way better than any lotion could ever be, so. And I found some argan oil. This is that, oh, what brand is this? You know what brand this is. They do all the shampoos, a lot of people really like it. Uh, see OGX Vogue International. What the heck is the name of this brand? Oh my gosh. I just see OGX Beauty. Okay, but you know these labels. Like, you know this writing, these labels. They do a bunch of shampoos, and this is their Argan Oil, Moroccan Oil line. Um, 
and it has like you know the oil in there so my favorite brand is the one and only argan oil uh, the oil treatment and I am like nearly out of it I love it so much it smells so good and I was in there in Kroger and they didn't have that brand they didn't have the one and only brand but they had it was like Argana or something like that like a similar brand and they had a big size oil treatment and I was like yes thank you Heavenly Father and I grabbed it and I smelled it and it smelled exactly the same and I was like okay putting this in my basket hold up wait what's that price tag say $23.99 $23.99 for some hair oil treatment at Kroger screw that sorry I'm out of here and then further down it just breaks my heart like $23.99 come on this was $5.99 it was on sale that's why I grabbed it I think it was like seven or something you, you know normal price I got it for $5.99 so I will let you know how this works out I'm sure it's not you know I'm sure it's watered down with other oils hopefully not mineral oil oh no I, I don't see any there is no mineral oil it just but there is some like random ingredients it's not just pure argan oil there's some red 17 yellow 11 fragrance so we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see I love argan oil so why my hair is so soft and sleek I love it anyways and then of course they had my tampons on sale sorry if there's a guy watching deal with it they're tampons um, Kotex is like the cheapest kind I mean except for like generic Kotex is the cheapest brand name tampons and they are my favorites favorites um, this box of 18 was $2.99 18 was $2.99 it's so awesome I would have gotten the box of 36 which was on sale for like $5.50 I would have gotten that but I just didn't have the room and like I'm not I'm not at my full strength I didn't feel like lugging it around like a giant box of tampons is just a bit too heavy for me to deal with right now but I'm telling you like Kotex is the best and they are the cheapest and it is awesome um, I've tried I mean I'm 26 years old I've had my period since I was 13 I've tried a lot of tampons um, and I still I love Kotex the best look at this guy right here he's doesn't even know I'm just talking to myself um, I've tried you know Tampax Pearl all the expensive ones the new Pearl Radiance I mean you know all the expensive brand name tampons and none of them work as best as Kotex does um, Kotex is the only one that I don't get leakage with and I mean that's just awesome they don't ever leak ever they're also the most comfortable for me um, I'm not sure exactly why that is but I never feel them they never come out of place I just I love them they are the best and they are a really good price so I highly recommend if you are not satisfied with your tampon purchase go grab you some Kotex just give them a try trust me um, I was thinking about getting one of those diva cups you're talking about the reusable you boil it every month and it's like the little plastic cup you put all up in there um, I like the fact that it's reusable and good for the environment and really good for your body so if you've tried those let me know all right I'm gonna drive home love you guys bye hey guys it's day two of Jackie's sick day oh that lighting sucks there we go day two I took off work today I look like holy hell I know um and sugar's in my in my chicken I was so hungry um, I haven't eaten all day I slept and relaxed all morning it sucks like you take a day off work and you can't even enjoy it because you're sick so I just wanted to show you guys I don't know if y'all have raisin canes everywhere I know we didn't have it here in Texas for a while. I knew about it from living in Louisiana for a while. They had them there, um, but they're amazing. Awesome sweet tea and the best chicken fingers you have ever eaten. What is so amazing about them, let me show you. Like I need to be eating fried chicken when I'm sick. Close enough to chicken soup, right? Oh, look at that. What's so awesome is their cane sauce. It is so good. I wish I knew how to make it. Sugars. Sugars macking on my fried chicken. Alright, well I am going to go eat. Um, hopefully start to feel a little bit better. 
Thank you guys so much for all your wishes and prayers. Love you guys. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. Every time. <laughs> it's better than yesterday, right? So, I just got out of the shower. Um, I look a lot better, right? I feel a lot better. I have more color to my skin. I'm still not quite looking 100% like myself, but... Um, I'm definitely feeling better. Super broken out. That sucks. Um, but yeah, I have nice clean hair. Washed all the sick off of me. You know how that feels. And then all my laundry. It's everything I've touched while I've been sick the last couple of days. All the towels, washcloths, sheets, pillowcases, clothes, everything. So I don't want to drag that back into my room and get me or anyone else in the house sick again. So, um, I'm going to go downstairs and make me a cup of green tea and just um, relax. I don't want to push myself too much and end up getting sick again or, like, you know, pushing myself too hard too soon. Um, I want to make sure I'm, like, ready to go back to work on Monday and everything is good. So, um, hopefully I'll be feeling even better by tomorrow when I can enjoy the rest of my weekend. Uh, so I think tonight I am just going to edit a video. I have a what's in my makeup bag that I'm pretty excited to get up. It should be going up tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'm trying to um, upload three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. i sit down. See, I'm still kind of weak. I just don't have the energy um, like I usually do. <laughs> so, yeah, um... So I was thinking about uploading three times a week. I've been doing it for about two weeks now. Um, three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So let me know if you guys like that idea, if you think that's something, um, I don't know. If you like it or you don't like it, you think it's stupid, you think it's a good idea, let me know. Or if those are even good days. Thank you guys for all your love and support this week while I've been sick. Um, I really appreciate it. And I guess that's pretty much it. I am feeling better. If I have anything else to say, I will come back and add it. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, and yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you want to be in it? Sure. <laughs> Alright, we're at a block party. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, wow, yeah, really weird. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Block party. And I'm feeling a little bit better today. So. I'm feeling awkward. Yeah. So I'm you want to look at the cars? Way. And my dad is about to play, and uh, I will show you guys. So hold on. The phone. Pardon. Look at this car. Hold on. I can't see. Yeah, that's nice. So. Here, I'll block it with my giant head. This one's nice too. I want these. Gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> that one's really nice too, huh? Gorgeous. I want it so bad. Oh my gosh. Hi, y'all. Okay. That's my dad over there doing sound check, getting ready to play. See? And I am going to run home for a second. The little brother's outside playing football. A bunch of kids, bounce houses. You want to see? All that. Hi, baby. Love you. I'm just running inside real quick. So there's Carson playing football. My big boy. That's my little brother. And all this right outside my front door. So I'm gonna run in real quick um, and grab something and then I'm gonna be right back out. Creepy witch, I hate that thing. My mom always puts it up for Halloween. All right, bye guys.
up the weekend so it's Sunday night and I love sun like Sunday is my favorite day and I hate Sunday nights do y'all feel that way too because it's like oh there's another week ahead it's it's especially hard when you have a long-distance boyfriend and they always leave on Sundays or you always leave them on Sundays and that's mine texting me right now um, so yeah, I mean, after a weekend of being together, you're here reflecting alone. Which there's nothing wrong with being alone. I don't mind being alone. Um, you know, but I do miss him. And, you know, just going back to work and work hasn't been great lately. And I've enjoyed my three-day weekend and I'm sad that it's coming to a close. So I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% yet. Um, Sorry, the lighting's kind of weird right here. Porch lights. So, I'm not 100%, but I am definitely better. I'd say I'm like 85%, maybe 90, um, which is good. I just don't quite have the energy like I, I did before I got sick, um, but that's normal. I still have a cough, but, you know, it's going away, so it's, it's much, much better. So, yeah, just sitting, reflecting on my weekend... I need to do some yoga, some meditation and some yoga to cl clear my mind, center my body and my emotions and just clear all the junk out and it, it was just a long busy weekend and now I'm like unwinding and I'm kind of crashing off that roller coaster high and so I'm just, I kind of feel, you know, a, a weird mix of emotions right now, you know missing him, afraid of work, not feeling 100% like myself, um, you know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I appreciate it every single time. Um, you know, our time is valuable and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to, you know, watch me um, and watch this video. So I very much appreciate it. Um, yeah. So stay tuned. I should have another video coming out. I'm trying to do three times a week. Um, I tried Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And Tuesday seemed to work okay. But Thursday, Saturday videos, like, it was like no one even saw that they went up. So um, I might have to rethink that. If you know why that is, let me know. Um, or if you have any suggestions on the best days of posting and times, I guess, for that. I just usually post in the morning. Um, let me know. I'd really appreciate hearing that. Um, so, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to check me out on any other um, social media platforms out there on the web, I am at Fort Worth Famous on all of them. Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Facebook.com slash Fort Worth Famous. I'm sure you can get the gist. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, remember that you're already famous in your hometown, and that's enough. Love you guys. Bye, y'all.